so so much fun to play around with the uh, I met a linguist once. Do you need to watch something? We've got about 4,900 schools in the United States, and about 4,000 of them are at the university level. Um, and a lot, an awful lot of those are really excellent, excellent universities that might be a better place for you to go study than where you think you want to go study right now. For example, if you wanted to go and study design, the top design school in the U.S. is not at Harvard and it's not at UC Berkeley. It's actually the Rhode Island School of Design. And my personal favorite example is if you want to study international business in the United States, the place to go and study international business in the United States is actually my alma mater, the University of South Carolina in Columbia, which I bet none of you have ever even heard of. But it's the best international business school in the country. And so what I would like for you to do is, when you're thinking about studying in the United States, think very hard about what it is that you want to study. If you're looking at studying something that the Ivy League schools are the best at teaching, by all means, choose there and go there. But do some research first, because schools are hard to get into, and you might end up at a school that's not the best one for you and for where you, what you want to do with your life. For example, my uh, PhD studies were at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Woohoo! <laughs> And the reason that I picked that school, even though Harvard has an excellent program in archaeology, which is what my major was, is because the very best school in the kind of archaeology that I wanted to study was UNC Chapel Hill. And what's more, I did research before I went to study on who I wanted to work with. And so what I encourage you to do is read research papers. Look at the professors who are doing the kinds of research you're interested in. And then look at where they're teaching because maybe the best thing for you to do is to go and study at a school where they are to learn the kinds of things that you want to learn. Because I guarantee you when you finish a degree from that school and you say, I studied in my case with Vin Stepanitis, people in my field know that name. And they will be far more impressed that I studied with him and learned under him than they would be if I said, oh, well, I studied at Harvard because Harvard doesn't have the kind of program that I'm looking for in my field. And I bet the same case is the same for an awful lot of you. That you have areas of interest that you really want to pursue, and I bet that there are people out there in the United States who are doing research in those areas who are looking for you to come and study with them. The other benefit of doing that is you then become more attractive to those universities. When you go to a university and say, I've seen that Dr. Joe Smith is doing research here on this particular issue, and I'm really interested in learning about that and studying with that, that professor can sometimes become your advocate for getting admitted. And those schools may not have the number of international students that the larger Ivy League schools have, and so then you become a more attractive candidate to them. And so then it's a win-win for everybody. The universities get a student who's going to give something back to them, and you get a university education at the school that is really right for you, even if it's not an Ivy League school. So I just encourage you to, first and foremost, find a place to study in the United States, because like I said, we want you. Um, I personally have fallen in love with Estonia, and I would like very much for more Americans to actually know that Estonia is not in Africa. So I'm encouraging you all to go to the United States and study there and teach them about Estonia because this is such an incredible place. Um, and find a place that you can study that will give you the best education for where you want to go with your life. Thank you.